Well, we got a brand new week in front of us and I hope that you are ready to enjoy it. You're ready to hit it hard and get out there and get working. Uh, this morning we're in Proverbs 18 and we're going to do a couple of lessons in here because it's another one of those Proverbs where there's some some uh, verses that are together that are that, that kind of help us uh, know how we can avoid most problems in life. Now, each one of these in and of themselves isn't going to help us avoid all the problems in life, but each of them is an element that we need to get under control. And this first one is going to be about simply filtering our words will help us avoid and, and stop causing many of our own hurts. And so let me go to Proverbs 18 read to you verses six through eight. And I think we'll just kind of scan through it this morning because I think if you'll approach your day and you'll approach people from this perspective or at least with these uh, this filter in place, I think you'll avoid a lot of problems. Look what it says here. It says, that a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calleth for strokes. And what that really means is uh, I'm going to say say what I feel and I'm going to say what, I'm, what, I, what my heart tells me to and and if that offends you, that's your problem. Uh, we, we have a lot of, I have my rights to feel the way I feel and I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Well, only part of that's true. You do have the right to feel the way you feel, but you don't always have the right to say what you feel like you should say. A uh, fool says everything that comes into their heart. And most of the time, a fool says things that causes people to wanna fight. And so that's what it means by it's calling for strokes and saying, hey, look, I don't care. Let's take this outside uh, kind of attitude. Verse number seven says, a fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul, which means that a lot of people are struggling through life because they can't control their lips. Their lips are actually snaring them and holding them back, putting a rope around them and keeping them bound to a, to a, a harder way of approaching life. And then this next one's important because it's another way we use our words. Maybe we aren't the one that's call, causing fights or, or uh, trying to uh, tell people, let's uh, uh, tell people how it is. Some people were tell, uh, some people use their lips to tell about other things. Listen to this next verse. It says, the words of a talebearer are wounds, and they go down into the innermost, inner parts, innermost parts of the belly. And so saying that, that people that use their lips to spread uh, information, whether it's true or false, a talebearer just means you're telling tales that aren't your tale to tell, meaning someone's confided in you as a, as a good friend and you're not trustworthy with that information and you tell it to everybody else with your own bend to it. Someone gets hurt and they tell you about it and you tell of their hurt with your own little uh, bend to it to make it a little bit juicier, a little bit better. And pretty soon it's a harsh thing. And, 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 and so what we're told here is in these just these three simple verses is there is a way to avoid most problems. One of those ways is to simply filter what we're using our words to do, what we're using our, what words we're using and we can avoid so many hurts. And the reason why I'm giving you this on a Monday morning is because I think that on Monday morning, we have a little less governor. Uh, you might be saying, oh no, I just came from church. I'm gonna be my best. Not always the case. Sometimes we wake up on Monday morning, we're tired, we're groggy. We're going, oh man, I gotta get back into the work grind again. I gotta hurry up and get the kids ready. I gotta do all this stuff. And we gotta hurry up and do that and get back into this routine. And we let words slip. Sometimes we're harsh on our kids. Sometimes uh, we're harsh to the people around us. Sometimes we're harsh to the people that are helping us. Uh, and we need to make sure that we keep our tongue under control. Uh, we're told that, uh, that, that that tongue is a restless evil in other places in the word of God. And so start off your week well by learning how to filter your words. Bite your tongue today. Hold back things, especially when it comes to a, to a tale that somebody else gave you, some hurt they have or some secret they have. Keep that to yourself. It doesn't belong to another person. And we will avoid so many problems. I know that if we'll put a governor on this mouth, my mouth, your mouth, if we'll stop saying the things that we say, we're going to change the entire direction of our week. Have a great day.